This is beyond wild. Hi everyone, hope you all are having a nice time. Your boy Al is here with Dan Did Dan episode 1 review and first impression so let's go. At first we see Momo confront her boyfriend, who pressures her to put out more, but she refuses. They argue, leading to their breakup. Momo later talks to her friends about it, admitting she only dated him because he resembled Ken Takakura, a celebrity in her world. After class, she walks through the hallway and notices bullies picking on her classmate, Ocarin. Momo intervenes, grabbing Ocarin's book and flipping through it, but finds it uninteresting and walks away. Ocarin confronts her, asking if she's into the occult, but Momo denies believing in aliens or UFOs. She yells and belittles him, but before leaving, she offers him some comfort, acknowledging she may have been too harsh. My first impression of Momo is that she is a very loud girl with a weird fetish, and kind of funny, but she is a genuinely good person. Also I didn't expect the show to have such a chaotic opening scene, but it was pretty damn funny. We see Ocarin tell Momo that ghosts don't exist, and in response, Momo retracts her kind words. She mentions that her grandmother is a spirit medium, but Ocarin remains indifferent, leading to more arguing. They make a bet. Whoever can prove their belief exists will make the other their gopher. Later, Momo visits Nagi General Hospital, while Ocarin calls her, sharing details about the hospital's UFO lore and what aliens do to their captives. Meanwhile, Ocarin explores a tunnel known for being haunted. Momo warns him about things to avoid during his investigation and admits she's never seen a ghost, which frustrates Ocarin. She emphasizes how much she values her grandmother. I'm not sure whether this will always be the case or not, but the story seems to be super fast-paced. I mean they just talked for the first time, and already agreed on some weird bet. Also Ocarin isn't a very standout character yet. Next we see Momo share details about her childhood, explaining how she used to perform a good luck ritual on her way to school, which led to boys teasing her. She says it especially hurt when the boy she was in love with teased her, causing her to feel conflicted about her grandmother, who taught her the ritual. Although the teasing initially made her upset, Momo realized she saw it as the boy mocking her grandmother, which deepened her love and appreciation for her grandmother. This experience solidified her belief in ghosts. Momo then asks Ocarin why he believes in aliens, but he doesn't respond. As they talk, Ocarin sees an old woman in the tunnel who offers to engage in inappropriate acts with him. Terrified, Ocarin runs and calls Momo. Momo warns him that the old woman is Turbo Granny and tells him he'll be cursed if she beats him in a race. Shortly after, Momo loses contact with Ocarin. The lights in the hospital go out, and Momo is confronted by three men who grab her, remove her clothes, and strap her to a chair. Honestly speaking, I loved how this part was able to bring out all sorts of emotions from the characters despite being fast-paced. By the way, I wasn't expecting Momo to open up to a stranger like that, but I guess that's one of her character traits. Moving on we see one of the men tell Momo they're Serpoians, or Serpos, from the planet Serpo. Momo, uninterested, demands they release her. The Serpos explain that their planet only has males, and they rely on clone technology to reproduce. They reveal their intent to use humans' bananas for proper reproduction and say they want to have intercourse with Momo, followed by extracting certain organs for research. Momo resists, but the Serpos use psychokinesis to arouse her. Just before they act, Momo's phone rings. One of the Serpos checks it, and Ocarin bursts out, attacking the Serpo and slamming him into the wall. Ocarin then informs Momo that he's been cursed by Turbo Granny. The aliens want bananas, but they kidnapped a girl, the dots don't really connect, but I won't say anything more otherwise YouTube will come after me. Also it looks like everyone wants bananas in this show. Then we see that the Serpos are furious with Ocarin's interference and demand he hand over his banana. Ocarin defeats another Serpo, and the last one repeats the demand. Ocarin agrees, admitting that he longed to meet aliens, thinking they'd be his only friends. He shares his childhood disappointment that aliens never visited him and mentions that Momo is the only one kind to him. 
Ocarin pleads with the Serpo not to harm her, but the Serpo injures Ocarin, explaining that their species only seeks to interact with female humans. As the Serpo uses his powers on Momo, we flash back to her grandmother teaching her how to release her chi. In the present, Momo's psychic powers awaken, rendering the Serpo's abilities useless. Momo kicks him into the wall and realizes that she and Ocarin were inside the Serpo's UFO the whole time. I thought Ocarin would get some sort of power for losing his banana, but our girl Momo turning out to be a psychic was quite unexpected. Also, the art style and camera angles of this anime are quite unique and refreshing. At the end we see Ocarin falls on Momo, and she realizes Turbo Granny is controlling him. Using her powers, Momo temporarily frees Ocarin from Turbo Granny's control. Turbo Granny then reveals that she has taken Ocarin's banana and challenges them to visit her tunnel if they want it back. The UFO crashes into the hospital and lands on a highway, allowing Momo and Ocarin to escape. They now both believe in each other's superstitions. Momo tells Ocarin she'll use her powers to help him maintain control and explains what they need to do to lift the curse. Ocarin wants to go to the tunnel alone to take responsibility, but Momo insists they stay together. Ocarin gives Momo some clothes and quotes a line from Ken Takakura, surprising her. When Momo asks for his real name, Ocarin replies, Ken Takakura. Momo is left stunned as the UFO behind them explodes. So Momo has totally fallen for our boy Ken without any dragging or anything, which is a bit rare to see. Also I have no idea where the story is gonna go after they beat Turbo Granny to get back Ken's banana. Overall this was an amazing first episode, and this anime just might become the next big thing. By the way, episode 2 should already be out by the time you guys see this video. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep me motivated to make more videos, and you can also leave a comment if you want to say something, because it helps me fight the almighty YouTube algorithm, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.